In this video, we will review the proper techniques and procedures involved in performing an IR test to check the insulation resistance of any cable. We will also review the proper procedure to follow when low IR results are encountered in mineral insulated cables due to the presence of moisture inside the MI cable's end. IR testing is conducted using a megameter set to 500 volts DC and it tests the integrity of the cable between the conductors and the copper sheath, between the conductors and between the outer sheath and inner shield, depending on the type of MI cable. Let's get started. First, check the cable. Note that the ends may need to be prepared to allow insulation resistance readings to be taken. Now, set the megameter test voltage at zero volts DC or off. Two, Connect the positive or earth lead to the cable sheath. 3. Connect the negative or line lead to the conductor. 4. Turn on the megameter and set the voltage to 500 volts DC. Apply the voltage for one minute and wait for a reading. Note, a change in the reading indicates there is a short. IR readings must not be less than 100 meg ohms under any conditions and make a record of the insulation resistance value and verify that it corresponds to the values shown under the test criteria. For cables with more than one conductor, repeat the steps in this procedure to check IR from each conductor to the sheath for all conductor pair combinations and again if testing shielded twisted pair cables. Also check IR from the outer copper sheath to the inner shield Remember that it may be necessary to move the negative lead depending on the cable configuration. Now, turn off the megameter. Note, if your device is not equipped with a self-discharge feature, you should carefully discharge the unit by connecting both leads to the ground sheath. Also, since the cable has the potential to store energy, the cable should also be discharged by connecting the bus wires to the ground sheath. Now, if your cable's IR readings are low, it means that moisture is present at the end of the cable and it must be dried out. To do this, use a propane or MAP gas torch with a large flame and heat out the cable beginning 12 inches 30 centimeters from the end. Use a short sweeping motion of the torch and gradually move the flame towards and past the end of the cable. Heat only about 2 inches 5 centimeters of cable at a time repeating four to five times. Pyrotonax copper sheath cables should be heated to a blue color. Take care not to overheat any particular area of the cable sheath as this could damage the cable. And do not sweep the flame in the opposite direction as this will drive the moisture back into the cable. Also, if you heat toward the end of the cable too quickly, you may skip over the moisture and drive it further back in the cable. It may be necessary to repeat the above procedure several times to completely remove all the moisture from the cable. Once finished, allow the cable to cool and repeat IR test as described in the beginning of this video. Note that the insulation resistance of the cable, when first heated, will drop. However, after the cable cools down, the insulation resistance will increase to an acceptable level given all of the moisture has been driven out. When IR readings are satisfactory, immediately terminate the end of the MI cable, or a delay can cause the IR to drop and the cable must be retested prior to terminating the end. The following are the minimum IR values for cables that have been terminated. In a warm, dry environment, IR readings should be about 200 meg ohms or higher. In an outdoor environment or indoors in wet or humid conditions, IR readings should all be above 100 meg ohms. Similar cables exposed to similar conditions should all have IR readings in the same general range. And where a large difference in readings is encountered, high readings can be accepted, but low readings, below 100 meg ohms, should be checked. Refer to the installation instruction manual provided with your termination kit for further details on IR test values. Finally, if the IR test results meet the minimum IR test values, you may continue with the installation or termination of your specific setup. For further assistance and product support, please contact NVENT Support 
at 1-800-545-6258 or visit nvent.com slash piratenax.